A jam-packed week of releases, let's start with what I consider to be the best of the bunch, Minari. Starring Steven Yoon, Han Yiri, and Yoon Yoo Joon is getting all kinds of awards buzz and it's all well-deserved praise. It's a beautiful little movie about the Asian American immigrant experience, but it's a story with universal themes. While much of this movie is in Korean, this is an American-made film, and like other foreign language films, that might act as a deterrent for some. However, Minari is not your typical awards movie. It's a crowd pleaser and one of the more uplifting movies at a time when we need it most, so I definitely hope it finds an audience. I give Minari an A-. Another small, graceful film seeing release this week is Land. It's the directorial debut for Robin Wright, who also stars, along with Damien Bashir. Land is about a woman struggling with unthinkable grief, who escapes to a life out in the open range of Wyoming, but who along the way realizes the value of human connection. Now that might sound sappy on the surface, but Wright does a remarkable job, both in front of and behind the camera, making Land a really effective experience. It's being released too late in the season to garner any real awards buzz, and that's too bad. I give Land a B plus. As mentioned, there are many, many films seeing released this weekend, both theatrically and on streaming, and you can find full reviews of all of these films on our website, including Judas and the Black Messiah, which stars Lakeith Stanfield and Daniel Kaluuya, and is coming to HBO Max, as well as theaters on the same day. Then there's Barb and Star go to visit Vista Del Mar, a new comedy from Kristen Wiig and Annie Momolo, a film in which they not only star, but they wrote the screenplay as well. The Mauritanian just landed some surprise Golden Globe nominations for actor Tahar Rahim and Jodie Foster, and it centers around a real-life story about a Guantanamo Bay prisoner. There's French Exit, a black comedy starring Michelle Pfeiffer and Lucas Hedges. And last but not least is the period drama The World to Come, starring Katherine Waterston, Vanessa Kirby, Christopher Abbott, and Casey Affleck. For more detailed reviews of these and other movies, please check me out on Rotten Tomatoes. You can go to the site, search the critics list to find Tom Santilli, and you can scroll through all of my recent and not so recent reviews. Another good way to find my stuff is to follow me on Twitter, at Tom Santilli, or go to the website movieshowplus.com.